What's going on boys? I'm in Advantage and welcome back to another NHL 22 HUT video. In today's video, we're breaking down the new HUT Hero Master Set items in NHL 22. We'll also be reviewing the new ability point increase as well as X Factor implications. As always, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you go ahead and give it a like. But without any further ado, let's get right into today's video. Before we get into the Master Set items, I want you guys to take a look at the top right corner of my screen. If you notice anything different, well, you are correct. Rather than 35 AP points, you now have 40 available. So before you play any games, make sure you go ahead and adjust these in here. If you have any questions, don't worry. I'll have a timely video out tomorrow morning, so make sure you go ahead and subscribe and click notifications so you will see that. On which one of these to activate, you get a little teaser here, but I will be going over all the zone and superstar abilities and how to build this out for your team. So something to keep note of, want to make sure you guys were aware of that before you dove into any hunt games this weekend. And if you're like me, I'm happy to see that this was finally raised. In order to attain any of these master set items, again, you're going to get the 86 overall player to start. You're going to need seven of these 16-bit hero collectibles. You do have another option here where you can do one of two. However, I would probably err on the side of caution for that. You probably, knowing my luck, at least would I would get hints and I would get Grubauer. So yeah, I, I wouldn't mind making Brandstrom or Kaprizov, but yeah, just be careful. And if you really want to make sure that you're getting the player you want and only making one of these cards, I would probably just throw in the seven collectibles on one of these sets instead. Guys, don't be concerned. I already did the math for you on all of these sets. So I'm going to put it up on the screen right now and we're going to go over it very briefly. So for any gold player, you're going to need 15 players total. It's going to be about 800 each on the market right now, which is going to be about 12,000 coins. And you only get one collectible. So it's gonna be 12,000 per, per collectible for this one. So I'd probably skip that set. The next one is going to be 80 plus overall players. These are going for about 1,200 each right now on the market, which is going to run you 12,000 coins total. And you only get one collectible again. So it's going to be 12,000 per collectible, the same as the first set. Your next option, 81 plus overall players, that is going to be 1,250 coins each, give or take, right on the market right now. You only need eight of them. So that's gonna be 10,000 coins total and 10,000 coins per collectible. So that's going to be your best bet so far, but wait, there's more. <laughs> Up next, 82 plus overall players, you only need seven of them in this set. They're going for about 1,300 coins each, which is 9,100 total coins or 9,100 coins per collectible. Again, we're starting to get a little bit lower on our per collectible reward. Up next is the 83 plus overall set. You're going to need three of those players, much like the last set that we saw in the 22 under 22. It's gonna be five and a half thousand coins each or 16,500 total. And that's going to be 8,250 coins per collectible being that you're getting two here. So our best one so far, but wait, hang on boys, we're still going. Up next is the 84 plus overall set. These are going for about 7,000 coins right now for 14,000 total coins. And again, you get two of these, so it's gonna be 7,000 per collectible. So that is your best bet so far. And this one right here is your best bet. So you're going to get three Hut Hero collectibles. Right now, the 85s are going for about 9,000 coins each, which is going to be 18,000 total coins for this which if you divide that up is going to be 6,000 coins per collectible. So this is the set that I would do if I was you. I wouldn't buy anything over 10,000 coins in this, but 9,000 is going to be your best bet. And then lastly, you have 186 plus overall player for three of these collectibles. Right now, the 86s are going for about 23,000 coins. And if you divide that by three, that's 7,600 per collectible. So these are the three that I would focus on is the 84 overall plus, the 85 overall plus, as well as the 86 plus overall. Keep in mind though, if you do have some untradeables that can help you out with any of these sets, that's obviously going to change the total cost. Our first master set item is Kirill Kaprizov. At 86 overall, these are gonna start off and look very similar to the last set that we had in the 22 under 22 players. It's going to require five 16-bit collectibles, just like it did last time, six to get them up to an 89, as well as a 90, and then lastly, 14. So it's gonna work the same exact way. Cost is literally a complete mirror of what the last set was, but let's go ahead and get into this card. In my opinion, this is the most exciting one in the bunch. 
He has Spark, which is actually not a bad one to throw on if you can't activate it, however not many people can. You can also put on Gladiator as well as Protector, Light the Lamp, or Well Rounded, and his last synergy that is non-changeable is Bombarded. So look at this card, 92 Excel, 92 Speed, Rishot Power, his shot's unbelievable. Slapshot Accuracy is a 91, Rishot Power is a 95, it's Rishot Accuracy is a 96. Hands are 96 across the board except for his deking. This is actually a really solid card. At 510, he's a little bit small, but at 201 and balanced at 93, especially if you activate Gladiator, he's gonna be pretty hard to take off the puck. I do like the superstar ability of puck on a string. Elite edges, you may be able to touch. Also, wheels. I do like wheels as a superstar ability at only five ability points. And then next up, he does have third eye as his own ability. So this is the best in the bunch, in my opinion. Another card that I'm considering here is Eric Brandstrom. A 5'10", 181 pound left-handed shot. He does have Spark, Booming Shot, and Gladiator, as well as Applesauce, Well-Rounded, and Bombarded. And the synergy that you cannot change on him is going to be Protector. What sticks out to me first off is especially if you activate Spark, which will increase the acceleration, his Excel jumps up to a 96. So 96 acceleration and 94 speed. He's gonna be lightning quick back there. And to complement his speed, he does have 92 checking and 95 strength. Hands are also pretty immaculate and shot is pretty decent. As far as superstar abilities go, I like the fact that he does have shutdown for only one ability point. That's one of the best ones you can throw on and especially for only one ability point, it's not a bad deal. He also has in reverse, which in my opinion is one of the best zone abilities as well for defensemen. Overall, if you're looking for a defenseman, at least so far, he is the only option, but he's also not a bad one. Up next, we have Hints at 6'3", 220. He does have buzzing, so if you did potentially create a number of those not 22 under 22 players, in the last event, a lot of those cards had buzzing on them. So keep that in mind if you're looking to build out this card. He also has Thief, Heart and Soul, or Magician. And then lastly, Applesauce is his non-changeable one, which actually is quite good. He also has Wheels, which is interesting. I probably would not activate it on a card that only has 91 speed. Unfortunately, he is a bit slow, but his size does make up for it, as we mentioned, at 6'3", 220. Shot is pretty solid. I think he's one of the best centermen you can actually get your hands on. Being that the 22 under 22 event is now gone, I don't know if I'd rush to make this card or any of those. However, if you're a Hints fan, certainly go ahead and do so. I do like the fact that he does have tape to tape. Unstoppable force on this card would be unreal, but I'm not sure if it's worth it at eight ability points. And lastly, in net, we have Philip Grubauer. You do have distributor buzzing or fly the zone. So there are your speed synergies for him, as well as Magician, Light the Lamp, or Bombarded, and an unchangeable synergy at Applesauce. Contortionist, Butterfly Effect, as well as No Timer. So a couple decent ones in the bunch as well as post to post. Like the card, but don't love it. At 6'1", 188, I would probably avoid Grubauer. Moving on to our honorable mentions that are not master set items. First up, we have Cam Neely making his return to the NHL 22. At 6'1", 218, he has distributor, so that would bump him up to 90 speed, and also has unstoppable force, which is a pretty decent one. I, don't, I wouldn't hate this card, actually. I don't know if I'd love him on wing, He's really not big enough, in my opinion, to make a huge difference, but his shot is always good and his hands are always pretty decent, as you can see. Up next is Ryan Getzloff with Fly the Zone or Wingman, as well as Applesauce. All these cards have Applesauce as their non-changeable synergy, so something to keep note of if you are filling that synergy on your team. He also has Tape to Tape, which in my opinion is one of the better ones, especially for a center like Getzlaff at 6'4", 227. He's a perfect center build. If you're someone that does not mind a bigger, slower defenseman, I think Getzlaff will be a perfect play to pretty much any team at this stage. Here he is, boys, 6'4", 211 pound Rick Nash with Spark and Buzzing. I wish they gave him a little bit higher speed. At 86 speed, it might be a little tough to use on the wing. You might be able to throw him at center, but his face offs are 65, so. Maybe, maybe not. However, I think big rig with him, again, that's his perfect play style, how I always used to envision Rick Nash when he was out there. So in my opinion, he could be a pretty good pickup, especially if you're a Rick Nash fan like I am, I may hunt down this card. I almost bought a Kaprizov card earlier today for 70,000 coins. <sighs> Let's just say, boys. I should have done it. He's going for around 300,000 coins right now, so you would have made yourself a pretty penny. But something to keep in mind here, let's take a look at this card. So first off, it's unreal. You can get him up to a 92 overall. 
Currently, he was previously at, I believe, an 87 or an 88. So if we go up from here, about 50,000 each or two power collectibles, then it gets up to 60,000, 65, 70, 75,000. But this card is one of the best cards in the game right now. Reason for it? Well, look over here. He has Buzzing, Distributor, and Workhorse. So if you were to activate this one, he does have Distributor at tier, looks like, what tier is that? Tier 13. So he would be plus two speed. I know it's only gonna be plus one here because I can only activate Buzzing. But with all of these activated, he'd be 94 speed, 95 wrist shot power, 90 shot, 96 wrist shot accuracy, 98 slap shot. I mean, all across the board, pretty much 99 and 96 in hands. Yeah, he has wheels. I mean, this card is, is nasty. So this is probably one of the best X factors you can acquire right now. If you have him, well, congratulations. That's it for me today, guys. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure you go ahead and give it a like. And if you love NHL 22 content, I would love to have you stick around here with me. Make sure you go ahead and click subscribe. Again, I'm Man Advantage, and I will see you guys next time.